Hey, I'm Sam, and this is my 1989 BMW M325i. Uh, I bought this car in 2021. Uh, the guy had it before me, had it for 20 years. It's done almost 400,000 kilometers and I've just been looking to slowly rest and mod it into an OEM plus condition. So why the E30? Um, to me, I've always loved BMWs up until a few years ago. I was kind of almost a little scared to own them with the reputation they had, but this is a super reliable model. Um, I had an E46 before this that I learned to DIY on, um, but I always wanted the E30. Uh, to me, this is the, the face of BMW, the four headlights, same as the E34, the E28, and I'd always wanted one in this exact spec and in this color, which is Lux Silver. And when it came up, I just jumped on it. So this model of E30, it's the M325i, which is a New Zealand only local hero model we had. So we never got the left-hand drive only M3 in New Zealand. So this was the top spec E30 that you could buy. And I think the list price was over $100,000. What it is, it's basically a 325i two-door with the MTEC 2 body kit. Um, it comes with sports interior, um, Bilstein dampers and springs, uh, rear sway bar, limited slip diff, close ratio gearbox, only ever came in manual, and a few other bits and pieces that you could only get with this model. So my vision for this car when I got it is really an OEM plus kind of look. So keeping any modifications and keeping with the period and nothing too crazy. Um, it is a daily driver. So what I wanted is a comfortable, reliable daily classic that I can thrash on the weekends really. And this is doing an amazing job. So my main focus with this car has been more of a kind of a resto mod with leaning towards the restoration side of things. Um, so mechanically, I DIY what I can, but I also hand it over to the professionals when it, when it suits, which is on a lot of these things. Uh, so it hasn't needed too much. It's got a brand new clutch, including all new hydraulics, uh, new cam valve, water pump, thermostat, uh, valves are adjusted, the ignition system's been overhauled. Just that's kind of been to keep it reliable and running how it's supposed to. Uh, the interior, I've spent a lot of time and money on this, so had this reupholstered in OEM Ubicaro, uh, which is the original original BMW fabric, most often seen in some convertibles and M3s. Uh, and this I got here in New Zealand in Wellington. It's the original old fabric and a local upholsterer um, did a fantastic job on it. Did the door cards, everything. Uh, in addition to that, um, done some other little touches in the interior like the MTEC 2 wheels being refurbished, matching uh, shifter boots and whatnot. Modifications, um, tried to keep it low key, OEM plus, like Perry correct modifications only. I'm not trying to change what the car is, just trying to enhance it a little bit without ruining it. Um, so it's got a Remus exhaust, which sound amazing. It's got that great BMW rasp above 4,000 RPM. Uh, have the maxi light wheels uh, and staggered fitment, same as the Alpina specs. And it's got Yokohama 808R tires, which are amazing. Super sticky, complete overkill for this car's power, but it makes it drive so much more planted. 
Other than that, in the suspension, it's got white lane sway bars, H&R Sport springs, AP Sport shocks, new bushings, control arms, and then it's just got a BMW OEM Z3 short shift kit in it, which just tightens up the shifting a whole lot without making it too notchy. future plans for the car. Um, it is a forever car if there is such a thing. Um, so next, I mean the big thing that I've got to do, it does have a little bit of rust on the sunroof which is a common thing with these so gonna have to get that taken care of along with a few other spots and probably a full respray and OEM Lux Silver Color. Um, so that's gonna take a lot of time and money. Um, other than that, I'm doing a cluster refurbishment soon and maybe, maybe down the line, we'll do a purple tag quick rack and possibly a cam stroker, but who knows? I'm really happy with it as in the moment.